since Bernoulli distribution is a discrete distribution, it has a property mass function uh, with property mass function given by p to the power of x, 1 minus p to the power of 1 minus x, x takes the value 0 to 1, and p takes the value 0 less than equal to p less than equal to 1, p plus q is 1. So we calculate uh, mean and variance by expectation method. So the expected value of x is given by summation 0 to 1, x into f of x. So f of x is given by p to the power of x, 1 minus p to the power of 1 minus x. So the first term comes out to be 0, the second term comes out to be p, so the expectation value of x is p. That's the mean. So variance of x is given by the formula wherein you have uh, expected value of x square subtracted by square of the mean. So if you if you tend to evaluate this term, the first term tends to be zero because x is zero. Then you have a form p minus p square, which turns out to be p q. So the variance of uh, Bernoulli distribution is p q. So we summarize this. There is another way to find uh, mean and variance of uh, Bernoulli distribution. And that is the, that is by moment generating function. Uh, moment generating function is uh, denoted by mx of t. It's basically an expected value of uh, e to the power of xt. Uh, when you evaluate the term with the uh, probability mass function, as is being shown right now. We'll get a term like q plus e to the power of t p. Then you have uh, what we call cumulant generating function. The first cumulant of this cumulant generating function gives you the mean. So basically you have moment generating function, the log of that function uh, differentiated once when t is equal to zero gives you first cumulant, which is the mean. And likewise, if you differentiate it twice, it gives you the second cumulant, which is the variance. So we are evaluating the first cumulant. So this evaluates out to BP, which was the same variance term that we got in the expectation method. So same mean for the expectation. Now we have the variance term wherein we differentiate it twice. So this evaluates out to be PQ, which is the same variance term that we got for expectation method. And there is a third way to uh, determine uh, uh, the mean and variance, which is basically uh, <coughs> moments. So mo moments are you just differentiate without taking the log and you evaluate t is equal to zero. Hopefully we should get the same uh, mean and variance values. So we know mx of t and now we have mean to be probability value t and if you differentiate it twice you'll get variance so again this comes out to be pq second moment minus uh, first moment square 
like an expectation method. So it evaluates out to be PQ.